Good evening, brothers and sisters. This Easter Sunday, 12th of April, 2020. It is a joyous day when we commemorate the resurrection of the Lord. Our good night message today is a message certainly of joy, of triumph together with Christ. Our passage is one verse from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 33. And I proclaim, with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God poured rich blessings on them all. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, after the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, we know that the apostles were at a loss. The Gospels tell us, especially John, but they were so mixed up and confused that they went back to their old way of life. Peter said, I'm going back fishing, and others followed him there in confusion. Luke will tell us about two of them going back to a mouse, a place Jesus had drawn them from, in disappointment and fear. But now we hear that the work of the apostles after the resurrection and manifestation of the resurrected Lord was they were occupied with one thing, the joys of the resurrection, the proclamation of the truth that God has raised Jesus from the dead and therefore there is triumph in God. There is triumph over sin. There is triumph over death. There is triumph over darkness. There is healing. There is power. There is life in the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is great hope that even our death is not a total destruction. The disciples were so committed to this single message that they wanted to be only solely witnesses of the resurrection of the Lord. Whenever they spoke in the name of Jesus about how God raised this Jesus whom the Jews had killed from the dead, power was unleashed in this proclamation of the apostles. The Acts of the Apostles tell us that when they became witnesses and gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, God poured out rich blessings on them all. My dear brothers and sisters, at this moment of the resurrection, even amid a such somber mood overcoming the world through this infection, if we partake and commit ourselves to give witness to the resurrection and the power of God working in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, God will pour rich confirmation and blessings upon us all. Scriptures are true forever. They are true then, they are true today, and they will remain to be true. Let us commit ourselves to be witnesses to the fact that God raised Jesus from the dead and did not let his son to no decay in that tomb, for then we would have no hope of life anymore. My dear sister, my dear brother, the Lord is risen. Rejoice. Accept that fact. It's part of our faith. It's part of us being Christians that we believe Jesus Christ truly died. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And Jesus Christ, as a winner and victor, will come again in glory because he rose from the dead and defeated de death, sin, and darkness. Our prayer today is a prayer of thanking God for the resurrection, for the power of the resurrection. And we thank God for the victory and we ask that the same victory be ours today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, God, our Father, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that you make all things new. Thank you for the victory and power in your name. Thank you that you hold the keys of our death, and that by your might Jesus was raised from the grave paving the way for us to have new life with you. Thank you that you had planned, that you made a way even for us. We confess, Father, our need of you, a fresh and new need of you. We ask that you renew our hearts, our minds, and our lives in these days 
of COVID-19 and for the days ahead. We pray for your refreshing over us all. Keep your words, Lord, the words of truth that you planted firm within us. Help us to keep focused on what is pure and right. Give us the power to be obedient to your word. And when the enemy reminds us where we have been, hissing his lies and attacks on our way, we trust that your voice speaks louder and stronger, reminding us that we are safe with you and that your purposes and plans will not fail. We ask that you will be our defense and our rear guard, keeping our way clear, removing the obstacles and covering the pitfalls. Lord, lead us on your level ground and make us triumphant sharers of the joys of the resurrection amid the difficulties of the present moment. We make this prayer in faith and trust through the intercession of the mother of Jesus who was there under the foot of the cross and at the tomb and who was witness to the resurrection with the disciples. And in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. My dear sister, my dear brother, our hymn for reflection is Alleluia, he is coming. I looked up and I saw my Savior coming, dying, rising. May Almighty God, in his love and mercy, bless and protect you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and do have a good night.